I think it's really, it is really tough, especially with injury, because generally as athletes, we're quite, I guess, obsessive towards what we do and we're so yeah. motivated and you just love, generally, you love getting up in the morning and you're motivated to go and train. So when you're injured and you can't train, I guess you don't get that same, like, almost like endorphin hit. It's one of the hardest times for an athlete, I think, because you get a little bit, you like twiddle your thumbs and you're like, well, now what? And so I think it really emphasised to me as well the the focus on well-being. It kind of busted me a bit mentally just because I it was kind of a waiting game. You know, I learned a lot of things from that process and the first thing would be that, you know, you have to allow yourself time to grieve. I, w I was devastated I, that I couldn't be up there. Um, but it's about how you manage it to come back stronger. I think getting away, so whether you're young and you ha you're living with your family, escaping that and help it, getting them to help you to stop thinking about it. So not talking about rugby, not talking about injuries. I was open with my family and friends and that was a good thing as well, that I surrounded myself with people that care about me and want the best for me. And so um, they were really supportive. Something that helped me is my partner, he'd done, he'd already done two ACLs and knowing that he got through it and sort of little things that he did. I don't know, that really helped me because I, I was like, if you can get through it, I can get through it. I'm sure there's lots of other athletes that have been in very similar situations. Just for me, it was kind of breaking it, again, breaking it down into little goals and working with a physio, um, getting a set of exercises, take control and take ownership of the thing, the factors that you can control. So although that might not be swimming, riding and running, but I could, you know, set that rehab goal and, and help myself in the best way that I could. So again, it's that concept of using it as some kind of fuel. You know, you learn some lessons during that injury period and then you come out the other side smarter and stronger and sometimes even fitter. The next thing was to kind of evaluate and think of what happened, how, you know, if I want to move on, how I can get there next time. That was a huge lesson as well um, that, you know, it, it, if you... If you manage it well and you get through the other side and it doesn't it doesn't consume you fully, then you can push through and you can absolutely transform it and turn it around.